Hi, good day. This is Eduardo with Identive Technical Support, and today we'll be covering resetting encryption on SNP2 and SNP3. Velocity by design creates an encrypted communication between the Velocity application server and the Hirsch controller. This ensures that the communication traveling between uh, Velocity application server and the Hirsch controller is secure and encrypted over the TCP IP network. Let's cover the steps needed to reset encryption on a Hirsch controller. We'll take a look at a couple different models and what the steps are to reset encryption. All right, so we'll start by heading over to the Hirsch controller and opening up the enclosure. To the left, you'll see our MX panel equipped with expansion cards, and you'll see front and center the SNP3 located there. And we'll want to pay attention to the three switch banks on this controller. There's switch bank one, switch bank two, and switch bank three. Getting a closer look, we're going to want to pay attention to switch one on switch bank two. This is your encryption switch. Let's take a look at a couple different controller models to locate the encryption switch. In an MX controller equipped with an onboard SNP2 or SNP3, the three switch banks are also located onboard. On an MX1 plastic enclosure, we'll locate the encryption switch next to the Ethernet RJ45 cable. The encryption switch is labeled switch 1, closest to the RJ45. For the switch to be in the on position, it must be pressed down towards the back of the enclosure. On an MX1 metal enclosure, the encryption switch is located next to the RJ45 port, and the encryption switch is the one most adjacent to the RJ45. On an MX1 metal enclosure, for a switch to be in the on position, it must be switched to the inside of the board. So in this case, it would be toward the left. Your orientation might change this. To reset encryption, we're going to want to start by powering down the unit by removing the battery and power. Once the controller is powered down, we're going to want to turn our switch 1 on switch bank 2 to the on position. That would be to the right of the SNP or towards the back of the can as we might refer it. Then you power on the controller. At this point the controller is going to go through its boot sequence and you're going to want to pay attention to the status lights at the center of the board and the status lights for the SNP 3. You'll know the controller is fully powered on when you have a solid green AC battery will be green or red depending on if you have a battery installed and the system LED will be flashing green steadily. Now paying attention to the SNP3 we'll see that the P1 lights are toggling back and forth. Now that the controller is in a ready state to reset encryption we'll go ahead and head over to Velocity and reset the encryption in the software. Now as we can see in Velocity we we're getting messages indicating that encryption is broken. We were getting messages indicating TLS handshake failed and encryption broken polling halted. And note the XNet address. In this case, it's XNet address 3. We'll go ahead and head over to our administration. We'll head over to Digitrack configuration, XNet, and as we can see, we are working on XNet port number 3. So we'll head over to that port. We'll enter the right click and enter properties for that port. And we will see a checkbox here indicating that we can reset encryption. We're going to go ahead and check that box, then press OK. We'll get a message as a warning indicating that we're about to reset encryption on this XNet port. We are going to go ahead and press OK. Velocity will indicate that it's reconfiguring the port. And immediately we'll see messages coming in indicating that our port online, Xbox online, controller all online. Now that the controller is back online, we can head back to the controller and lock in our encryption. We will lock in our encryption by turning off switch 1 on switch bank 2 while the controller is powered on. Now we have reset encryption and our encryption is locked in and will prevent the controller from losing encryption in case of a power outage. This has been Eduardo, helping you keep your world verified.